Star Algebra 2023 Algebra 1 Part 7 171 through 201 by Professor Alfredo Galvez 111122. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this guy here. Find the slope of the line through the two points. Okay, before we start this, need money right now for Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas. Great boss, great food, great work. Open 24 hours, they'll give you some of this if you work there. To be glad to help you out, okay? Anyway, let's start on this. Just get rid of this money. We don't need this cash here. Get it out of here. So now, find the slope of the line through the two points. 5, 250, 20, 20, 20, and 220. Formula. Y1, Y2, X1, X2. Slope formula. Put the numbers in there. Y1, 250 minus 220. And 5 minus 20. So now... On the top, you have 250 minus 220, which is going to give you what? 30 divided by negative 15. And the 30 divided by negative 15 is a negative 2. Or you can use a graphing calculator if you want to. That works also. Okay? So the answer is what? Slope is what? Negative 2. This is the way, one version of the formula anyway. All right. Find the slope of the line to the points again. There's the points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Put them in the formula. y1 minus y2 is going to be 258 minus 256. And 1 minus 2 on the numerator denominator. So 258 minus 256 is going to give you 2. Divided by negative 1 is going to give you a negative 2 slope. Find the linear fun For the linear function, what is the rate of change of y with respect to x? So there's a table right there. We have x and y, x and y, x and y. So x and y, there they are. X and y, there they are. So now, slow formula again. So we have 3 minus 6 and 4 minus 8. So 3 minus 6 is negative 3 and 4. And the negative divided by negative is going to give you what? A positive 3 fourths. Okay, again, you can use your calculator if you want to. Find the slope of the line through the points. Okay, two points. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Put the formula there. So you're going to have 4 minus negative, negative 2, and negative 4, negative 4. So we have negative and negative is positive. 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. Negative is going to be negative 8. So we have 6 over negative 8. Or another way to write, 2 times negative 3 and 2 times 4 is the same as this. And guess what? The 2's cancel. So this simplifies to what? Negative 3 fourths. Or use your graphing calculator. Find the slope of the line through the two points. Again, x1, y1, x2, y2. Put them in there in the formula. Slope. So negative 3 minus minus. So negative 3 plus 9. 4 minus 12. 6 over negative 8. Multiply it out. 2 times negative 3. 2 times 4. And that's going to cancel out. You're going to have what? Negative 3 over 4. It's the slope. Find the equation of the line through the two points. Ah, no. Find the equation of the line. Not just the slope. It's a little bit harder. So, different formula. Y minus Y1 equals Y1, Y2, X1, X3 times X minus X1. Two-point formula. Put the numbers in. Y1, Y1, Y2, and then X1, X2 in the bottom right here. And then X1 right there. So, this is going to be 250 minus 220 over 5 minus 20. And this is going to be X minus 5. This is going to be 30 over negative 15. Divide these two numbers here. It's going to be negative 2. So now negative 2 times that is negative 2x, negative, negative times negative is positive. So now we still need to add 250 to both sides. Plus 250 plus 250, and guess what? y equals negative 2x plus 260 is the final answer. An equation of line through the two points. x1, y1, x2, y2. Put the numbers in there. Here's y1, y1, y2, x1, x2. So now we have... Negative negative is positive. This would be negative negative is positive. Negative negative is positive. See how that change? So we have this right here is going to be 2 over 3, negative 2 thirds. So now negative 2 thirds times this is negative 2 thirds x. And negative 2 thirds times that is negative 2 thirds. So now we're still going to add, subtract 2 from both sides. But now let's see. y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds. And then 2 over 1 times 3, 3. Because 3 times that and 3 times that gives you 6 over 3. So now we have y equals negative 2 thirds x. And then these two fractions right here, I'm going to put them together as 1. Negative 2 and negative 6 is negative 8 thirds. So y equals negative 2 thirds x, negative 8 thirds. 
this one. Find the equation of the line through the two points. Again, x1, y1, x2, y2, two-point formula. Put the numbers in there. Okay? So 8 minus 4, 0 minus 2. So you have 4 over negative 2. And then x minus 0 was just x. So that's going to be negative 2 times that, negative 2x. Add 8, add 8. So y equals negative 2x plus 8. Find the equation of the line to the two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Put them in the formula carefully. See how I put the numbers in there? y1, y2, x1, x2, this and this. This minus this is negative 128.75 divided by negative 5. Divide these two numbers in the calculator. It's going to give you 25.75 times x. 25.75 times negative 5 is this. Now add 188.75, 188.75, these are gone. So y equals 25.75x plus 60. That's it. Slope is 25.75. The y-intercept is 60 or 0, 060. By the equation of the line through parallel. Parallel means that the slopes are the same. So parallel to this means that slope is 2. That will be parallel. There's a point. So put the numbers in. You have point. You have a x1, y1, slope. Put them in the formula. Put slope formula. So we're going to have y minus 12, 2 times x minus 4, so that's going to give you 2 times that's 2x, that's going to be negative 8, add 12, add 12, so y equals 2x plus 4. So the slope is what? 2, so it's parallel, and it has the y-intercept 4 or there. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to this. Perpendicular means get the negative reciprocal of this. So get this, flip it upside down, change the sign from positive to negative, so this perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 half. And we have a point, x1, y1, and the perpendicular slope. Put them in there. y minus y1, m, which is negative half times this. So negative half times that is going to be negative 1 half x. And negative 1 half times this is going to be 4 over 2. Divide these out, it's going to be 2. So now we're going to have to add 6 to both sides. When we add 6 to both sides, we're going to have y equals negative 1 half x plus 8. And then that's the final answer right there so far. So next one. Find the equation on line parallel to that. Okay, well, first thing we have to do is we're going to have to rewrite this. We have to solve this for y. So there it is. Solve for y. So minus 2x minus 2x. Let's see. Plus 2x plus 2x. So we have y equals 2x plus 4. Now, parallel means exactly this number here. Slope is 2. Put a 2 there. It's parallel slope. Point, 84, 10. Now we put the point slope formula in there. So y minus y, 10. Y minus 10 equals 2 times X minus minus. Minus minus is a plus. That times that's going to be 2X. That times that's going to be 8. Add 10, add 10. So Y equals 2X plus 18. But that's point slope. That's a slope intercept form, huh? We don't want that. We want the standard form. Hmm. All right. So what I do is subtract 2X, subtract 2X. And now we have negative 2X plus Y equals 18. There it is. Standard form. That's what they wanted. Okay. The graph of the linear function h is given. If f of x is x and h of x equals a f of x, then find the value of a. So f of x is x, put it in there. a times f of x, which is a times x. So now substitute the number. Let's try this one here. So negative 2 times that is negative 2a. Equal negative 8. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So we're going to get a is what? 4. So if h of x equals 4x, it'll work for this. Put the negative 2 in there to see if it works. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Yes. Put the 4 in there. 4 times 4 is 16. Yes, it works. So a has to be what? 4. Graph the linear function. Find the domain and range. f of x is 2x. And negative 3 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2. So let's try negative 3 in there. That's going to be negative 6. f of negative 3, negative 6. 2 in there. f of 2 is going to be 2 times 4. So we have negative 3 and negative 6, and we have 2 and 4. So now the question is domain. Domain is left and right. So think about it. Well, it's right here. See right there? Between negative 3 and 2, that's where the numbers go. Negative 3 and 2. So domain is between what? Negative 3 and 2, left and right. Range from bottom to the top. Bottom to the top. So the bottom of the graph goes where? To negative 6, all the way up to 4. So from negative 6 to 4. And the range is going from negative 6 to where? 4 from the bottom to the top. Left and right domain range from here to here.
Domain, negative 3 less than or equal to x less than 2. Range, negative 6 less than f of x less than equal to 4. Graph the linear function, find the domain and the range. Okay, again, there's a function. There's a limit right there. X is less than 6. So let's put a number in there. Let's put a, a 0 in there. So 0, that times that's 0, plus 4 is 4. F of 0 is 4. Put a 6 in there. That times that's going to be negative 12. And 4 is going to be negative 8. So our graph looks like this. It goes 0, 4, and 6, and negative 8. And it stops right there. So, domain is going to go from right here, keep going, keep going, keep going, it doesn't stop. Domain is from left to, left to right right there, so it goes all the way to where? To infinity from 6, anything less than or equal to what? 6. Domain of f is all real numbers less than or equal to 6. The range is going to be all the numbers from where? From negative 8, this way. Domain goes right here, this way. Range goes right there, up, keep going. So, domain of f is all real numbers less than or equal to 6. Range of f is all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 8. Or domain is x less than or equal to negative 6. Domain another way, negative infinity to 6, including it. Range would be f of x is greater than negative 8. Or range another way, negative 8 to infinity. Graph the linear function with x-intercept, y-intercept. Okay, so graph this. x-intercept means that you have negative 1, 0 automatically. That's what it means. That's the point. Y intercepts negative 2, that means that you have 0 and negative 2 on the graph. Once you have these two points, put them in there. So negative 1, 0, and 0 and negative 2, and then connect the dots. X intercept negative 1 means negative 1, 0 is there. Y intercept negative 2 means you have 0 and negative 2. Find a linear function that has a 0 of negative 4 and a Y intercept. Alright, so 0 and negative 4 means 0 and negative 4 means you have negative 4, 0 in there. And y-intercept of 8 means you have 0 and 8. So you have two points. Put the two points in there. There's a the formula. 2-point formula. Put them in there. Subtract this out. You're going to have negative, but negative is positive. 2 times that is 2x. 2 times that is 8. So y equals 2x plus 8 is that, the one that has that. Function notation, f of x equals 2x plus 8. That's function notation right there. Graph the linear function of f that has a 0 and 84 and a y-intercept. So 0 and 84 means you have negative 4, 0 in there. And y intercept of 8 you means you have 0, 8. Put the numbers in a negative 4, 0. And then 0, 8 right there. And then connect the dots. So all you have to do for this one. Y is directly proportional to x when x equals 200. What? Then y is 20. Find x when x. Find y when x is 50. So y equals kx is direct proportion. So now 20 equals k times 200 by substitution. So we have 20k equals this, divide by 200, divide by 200. Well, we have 20 over 200, 20 times 1, 20 times 10. These cancels, we have 1 tenth. So k is 1 tenth. We know that's the variable, right, that constant. So now we have y equals k times x, so y equals 1 tenth x. And it tells us what? What happens when x is 50? So put a 50 in there. So 1 tenth of 50 is going to be 50 over 10, which is 5. So y is equal to 5 when what? When x is 50. Graph the linear function. Again, I'm going to put some numbers in. Put a 0 in there. 0 times that is 0 plus 32. 32. Done. 50. Put a 50 there. 5 divided by 50, 10. 10 times that is 90. 90 and 9 is 122. So 0, 32, and then 50 and up 122. No. Yeah. 50. Let me see. Let me do it again. 50. Yes. 122. Yeah, 122. Let me fix that right now. 100 and what? 22. And there you go. Now it's better. Can you read it? I hope so. 122. This right here. Alright. Graph the linear function. Again, domain is given. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These only those numbers. Put in the graphing calculator. You can get these numbers. Uh, you're going to have 0 on that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are in the order pair, so 0, 100, right there. 1 and 87.5, 2 in this number, 3 in that number, 4 in that number, 5 in that number, and then 6 in that number. So these are these are the numbers, that, they're just points. Okay, because we're getting domain is just those numbers. Domain is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and the range is going to be what? 187.5, 75, 63.5, 50, 77.5, 25. Okay? Graph the linear function. Again, I put it this way. Yes, I wrote it this way. 0x plus 6. So if you put a 0 in there, 0 times 0, 0 plus 6 is 6. If you put 1 in there, 1 times that is still going to be 0 plus 6. It's going to be 6. So it's always going to be 0, 6, 1, 6. This is going to be 6 on this side. So 0 and 6, 1 and 6, draw the line. So horizontal line like that. Uh, y equals negative 8. It's the same thing. Y is always what? Negative 8. So no matter if I put 0 and 1 here, it doesn't matter. It's going to be negative 8, negative 8 for that Y. So 0 and negative 8, 1 and negative 8. goes like that. Graph. The graph and find the range. If Y equals this, domain is that. Given 1, 2, 3, 4. Put them in there. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. So we have pairs again, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8. So the domain is all the first numbers of these, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Range is all the second numbers, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Graph and find the range if you have this in the domain. Put those numbers in there, 0, so it's going to be... 40 minus 2 times 0, 40 minus 0 is 40. 40 minus 2 times 1. 40 minus 2 is 38. 40 minus 4 is 36. 40 minus 6 is 34. 40 minus 8 is 32. So we have points again. 0, 40, 138, 236, 3 and 34, and 4 and 32. Dots, points. So it means all the first numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Range is all second numbers, 40, 38, 36, 34, 32. Is 6, negative 6, 8 a solution to the inequality? This one. If I put this in there for the x's and the y's, would they work? Here's the x, here's the y, put them in there. Put 8. Put the so negative to negative is positive 6. 6 over 6 is 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Is 8 bigger than negative 3? Yes. Yes. Negative 6, 8 is a solution to the linear inequality. That one. Okay. What about this one? Is that a solution to the linear inequality? Let's put the numbers in. Put the numbers in there, put the number in there. So negative to negative is positive. Six over six is one. One minus four is negative three. Is negative three always greater than negative three? No way, bad, that's never gonna happen. So no, negative six and negative three is not a solution to a linear inequality. Graph the linear inequality. So put a zero in there. Zero turns out zero plus two is two. Put a five in there. Five, five cancels out. Five goes to one, one turns out negative two. Negative two plus two is zero. So we have zero and two and 5 and 0. And this graph says what? It's not greater, it's less than, means it goes this way. Less than that graph. This is the graph, it goes less than this way. Graph the linear equality. Put a 0 in there. 0 times that is 0 plus 2 is 2. Put 3 in there. The 3 divides 3, yes, 1. 1 times that is 2, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So 0 and 2, and 3 and 0. And then right there, and it's greater than, it's not including the line. Don't include the line. See right here, dotted lines. So now we have greater than means this way. Don't include the points. So dotted line like that. All right, this one, what does this say? Graph the linear equality, 500x by 800y less than or equal to 8,000. Domain is 0 less than or equal to 16x. And also y is bigger than or equal to 0. Three conditions, huh? Okay. Let's solve for y. You solve for y in this. Okay? So try 500, 500. So divide by 800, 800, 800. So y is less than or equal to 10 minus 5, 8, x. Rewrite this. Y is less than or equal to negative 5, 8, x plus 10. Put a number in there. Put a 0 there. 0 times that is 0 plus 10, 10. Put a number 16. 8 and 16 is 16. So this, this is going to be 2. 2 times that is negative 10. So negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So we have 6. 0 and 10, 16 and 0. So now we have two points. 0, 10, 16, and 0. Put them in there. Uh, here we go. So we have 0, 10. We have 16 and 0. And we have between 0 and 16. There it is. And it's greater than that. So it's going to be all these numbers in here. Okay. So it's right there somewhere. This conditions make it right there. All right. So 
Oh, that's it. We're done. So I guess it's time to go vacation. Mustang Island, Galveston, somewhere. You should have brought out go to Hawaii or somewhere if you have money. Yes. Math Monsters, no scares anymore. Math is fun, actually, because we know how to do Algebra 1 anyway. Uh, these seven guys, nah, they're not scary. How about these seven guys? Nah. Algebra 1 used to be more scary. No, they're not scary. Numbers? No, not scary. This guy, giant guy? Nah. Algebra 1 was more scary. No, not these guys are. Are they more scary? No, actually, they're not. Anyway, good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Galvarez Jr. Good luck. Good luck in your Algebra 1. Star 2023. Again, Alfredo Alvarez Jr. Professor Alfredo Galvarez Jr. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Bye.